Is this Mr. Justin Smea? How you doing, bro? It's Ro, and we're on the air with the Extinct Podcast. We uh, we want to welcome... All right, let's uh, let's murder him, guys. Let's kill him. <laughs> Damn, Sean. Damn, I, I, I hope man. you guys nice don't to... mind. I hope you guys don't mind, but I, I prepared a little something. I was pretty excited about coming excellent, on the show. Excellent, excellent. All right, and cool. And so I compiled a, a list of uh, re- other researchers that I thought were douchebags and whatnot. <laughs> and so I figured we'll just take them one at a time. <laughs> well, welcome to the club. We, don't, we, don't love, we think of a lot of researchers yeah, are douchebags, we'll just, we'll just take them one at a time. <laughs> I'll talk about like what a piece of okay. shit. Okay, <laughs> we're starting oh, strong, God. folks. Starting strong. The Mr. Smeha, the floor is yours. Get it. Well, that's, Get it, that's, that's it. pretty much what what, what yeah. it's about, right? Like that's that's pretty much. Yeah, we just at, have right? fun and bat, do some bashing and and talk talk gossip, man. Yep. Until yeah. we get some real, until yeah. we get some real well, Bigfoot really evidence, like a fucking bug. <laughs> I like everybody equally. Is Ketchum on that list? <laughs> Are you ready to make a statement? I think my Taser's not on that list. Oh, who knows? Who knows? Hey, uh, well, um, is there he, something he that you? Quiet. He's quiet. Quiet. Okay, Justin, the floor is yours, man. Let's let's hear this what prepared statement. Oh, no, no, that, okay. there, there was none. I was just leading you guys up to that. <laughs> so you're a hoaxer. <laughs> I'm gonna relate so you're a hoaxer is what you're Man. saying. You're, 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 you're leading us down a, 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 a bad path. It- He's, he's very convincing, yeah. man. See, he, he convinced. I know, man. Yeah, it was, John. It was lives. very convincing. I, was, I thought he actually had something prepared. I was waiting, waiting for it. So. Mm. That's why I said he so, pulled our leg in. Justin, um... Uh. Oh, it's a uh, oh, we got we got Michael here. It's the network guy. He knows that word. Uh, no, like if he, if he has more than three sentences online, he'll have network there. Thank you. It's, it's, it's like a curse word, but it's like a word, but it's different. So, Mike, I like it. Well, we got Michael Michael yeah. Merchant. He doesn't go the low road. Michael doesn't go to low And that road. is Mr. Damien Bravo's voice. Sean and I get to talk to you quite frequently, so I know that I know that Mr. Damien Bravo and Mr. Michael Merchant um, want to probably monopolize this conversation. Um, I'll probably come jump in, and 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 <laughs> Sean and I will probably poke fun at the conversation from now from here and there. But uh, but but Michael, do you want to kick things off, or Justin, do you want to kick things off? I, I'm getting just thinking about it, Justin. <laughs> Well, that would be somebody's cue. So, so Michael, let's start with you. What, what, what's your first question for Mr. Justin Smea, who's been kind enough to come on the show after doing a, a hit? Did I? And yes, I said it. A hit viral video smash called "I Killed Bigfoot," released by Team Taser awesome. uh, this week. So, uh, let's let's hit, let's let's start addressing some of the things that have come up over the course of the last few days. Well, Justin, you know, I really appreciate you coming on the show because uh, I'm pretty sure I probably called you nitwit on some of my videos in the past. <laughs> One or ten, I, I can't remember. It's, just, it's all good. I, I don't got nothing bad to say about nobody. Yet. Man, I, I got to tell you, I think you've spun a really colorful yarn here, but I just don't buy it. I don't buy the story for, for a bunch of different reasons. You know what I don't buy? So somebody that has an awesome beard cutting it off. I mean, only these jackasses <laughs> would do that. Like, you lost all credibility with me right then. Wow. I mean, yeah. I mean, it was it was a good thing you had going, and now it's like you're just some guy. <laughs> just some guy. <laughs> oh, damn it, Michael. Michael froze My, up Michael, on Michael's bandwidth is sucking balls. Where is he? Oh, Right then man. and there. Michael. Well, at least you got his joke he in. Was frozen smiling. He, at least you got a joke in. Let's see. Come on, Michael. He should be coming back. Come on, Michael. We're, we're rooting for you, buddy. Come back. Oh, Mike. He was only joking, Michael. Please come back. <laughs> yeah, dude, don't hang up. You, come you on. still look good without the beard. He's so sensitive, yeah. you know. So, so yeah. um, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Little yeah. thing in the vagina. Yeah, he came back there now. He, there he, he is. Goes. So, um, yeah, he yeah. lost. I know that, w- like a lot of people, and we even talked about this in the interview. Mm. Wow, that yeah. was too weird. <laughs> and I'll let Mike, Mike I'll man. let Michael bring it up. Um, I know one of the things that he wanted to bring up was was the gun, and we did address that 
in the interview, but he, as a hunter, has a bunch of questions for you um, in, in regards to that, among other things. Um, now that now that you're back... Well, just to talk about how, how, how the caliber is too small for, for a black bear? Well, well no, I mean, that, that, that going to ask you. That caliber would be perfectly fine if you... I mean, like, what, uh, what were you shooting for ammunition? I mean, what type of loads did you have in that thing? Uh, I don't remember. I, I, I switched hands since then. I mean, I, I have... I might have the bullets right in front of me, actually. I don't know. There's some special reloaded, whatever. Yeah, I got a bullet right here in front of me. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Well, it doesn't say the weight of the bullet or nothing like that. But I've always had one of the heaviest. I think it's 120 grains, maybe it's 150. I don't know. Yeah, I think 100, 120 is your max. But I could see why people gave you a hard time about using a 25 out six for hunting bear because you know usually people. I mean, they'll hunt elk with those, but those are thin-skinned. Usually for bear, you're going, you know, for something, you know, a little heavy-duty. See, I, I don't understand that because elk are a lot harder to kill than bear. We're not talking about five or 600-pound bear. We're talking about two or 300-pound bear. I don't, I, 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 I don't get that. I mean, everything I killed died. Well, up until pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> what, what were you, uh, were you shooting... Do you remember if you were shooting soft nose or, you know, like full metal jacket? Were you using? Uh, I, 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 I could send you one of the bullets. You could pull it apart if you want. I, it, it, it looks like uh, I, I don't know much about guns or firearms or nothing like that. Uh, I don't shoot on a regular basis. I'm not a gun fanatic. I don't have a gun safe. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big gun guy or bullets or anything. I, I depend on my brother to load my rounds. Well, I would kind of believe yeah. that, but, uh, like, you know, when you... I'm just kind of curious, Justin. You know, I grew up in a hunting family, and I'm a biologist, and I hang out with a lot of hunters, and, like, usually, when somebody's going hunting, they know, you know, what loads they're carrying, they know the ballistics of it, you know what the feet... Per, like, I can tell you the feet per second for a twenty five ought 6 and I suspect that yeah, you wouldn't know 3, that. Yeah, 3,200. Um, well, no, that's... Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you got that one right. Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's just it should be about that. Uh, I mean, if you're doubting my hunting knowledge, I mean, like, uh, I'm definitely not. You'll never hear me brag or show any pictures or nothing. But uh, what I have on Facebook, you, you friended me very, very recently. Uh, that's probably ten percent, maybe five percent of what we normally do. We go out, I'm on a hunting pro staff, and we kill lots of stuff. We kill maybe 10 or 12 deer a year in several states. It's not like I'm new to this. But, but see, here's what I'm trying to determine. I mean, on one hand, if you're killing, you made a comment to Roe that you killed like 100 deer. That would be what I would call an experienced hunter. But then just a few sentences ago, you kind of said that, you know, your brother was the one that did all that. You really didn't. Oh, you know? yeah. I, I don't have anything to do with guns. I don't. They're not my thing. It's not that I'm against <laughs> but them. You're they're hunting only, with them, they're only a tool for me. They're <laughs> only a tool. You will never see me at a shooting range. You will never see me go out here and shoot skeet with my friends. Well, if you're not it's at nothing, a shooting range, I don't range, have anything that, against it. I don't have anything against it. It's just not my thing. It's just a tool. But, but Justin, if you have a gun and you never go to a shooting range, how do you know that you're sighted in? No, I, I do go once a year, the day before deer season, every year. So yeah, what would you do, say? Do quick, you know? What would you say your skill level? I mean, you told you you made the other statement that everything you shot at you killed. Uh, no, everything I hit I killed. I miss planning. Everybody misses. Um, uh, my skill level. I I don't know. I killed a couple hundred deer. Um. Uh. I mean, I'm, I I I've, I've guided in Alaska. Uh, you were you were a registered guide in, in Alaska. I think I still am. Actually, uh, yeah, it looks that way. Because, you know, Sean, both Sean and Roe have kind of vouched for you and said you were a nice guy and everything. But He is a nice guy. He's my <laughs> friend. Okay. I, I got to say, man, you might be a nice guy, but I'm frankly uh, appalled at the statements that you made in regard to, you know, hunting on that video. I mean, most hunters that I, that I, that I know of are very respectful, and, I mean, you, you seem to – I mean, you just talk about just killing stuff. Like, uh, what, what is your intent when you go hunting for a bear? Are you killing it to eat it? Do you want the hide? Oh, absolutely. I, I, one of the most misconception things I've had in my whole life is people saying that bear meat don't taste good. I mean, it's delicious. There's nothing like it. Yeah, he had me try some. It, it's, 
It's better than steak. So when you guys went up there, you guys were prepared to haul out a, you know, 300. I mean, how big of a bear do you think you could get up in that neck of the woods? Uh, there, there's been some reported over 600 pounds, but, you know, you just take and cut them up right there on the spot, put it in your backpack, do a trip, uh, do another trip, cut it up more, do another trip. So. See, I have to ask you, I know you've probably been asked this question before, but if you were prepared to go into that neck of the woods and, and haul out a bear, why would you leave behind a 35-pound Sasquatch? I, between seeing the warden and... You know, when you shoot, you got about maybe a, let's say, a 30% chance of somebody coming right around the corner. It's California. We've got lots of people in our woods. you got, you got about a 30% chance of somebody coming up. Oh, where is he? What happened? When? Where? What? Whether it's be a warden or whether it just be somebody looking. But then you shoot again, it goes up to about 60% chance. I mean, and we're out there, but you're all, there's always somebody there. You can't get deep into the woods in California. It just ain't going to happen. You go to Bluff Creek, you're still right next to somebody all the time. You just don't know it. So every time you shoot, you double, triple your chance. So having sh- had shot two shots, I'm thinking, you know, we need to get out here because somebody's going to be here any second. We're going to get in a lot of trouble. Is okay, that logical? Fuck you know, oh, no, it's not logical. I just, I, no, I just it makes no interrupt. sense. Justin, I just need to interrupt you for a second. You said, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong. I listened to this thing. I might have heard it wrong. But you kind of made out like that you said you didn't, why would people care if you were poaching? Like it didn't matter if you were poaching. But now I'm getting the impression that. Why, why, why would anybody care? Well, you seem to care. You, you just you're, you're making a statement to me that you got the hell out of the dodge because you yeah. fired two shots. You got this percentage that the game warden's going to show up, and you've got an animal that weighs thirty five pounds, and you can't take that and get it to the truck with you. And and I get the impression that you shot it with the intent of keeping it as a trophy because you made the statement that you shot it in the neck, not to damage the head, right? Correct. Correct. So I, I'm just trying to figure out why you would leave that behind if you were prepared to pack out a 600-pound bear, a 35-pound... Poor judgment. <laughs> Poor judgment. Poor judgment not taking it out? Absolutely. No shit. Just curious, Justin, we didn't talk about this, you know, we didn't put this in the interview and, and whatnot, but recently Bobo came out publicly and and maybe accidentally in front of a million people on Joe Rogan's show said that <laughs> said that you were pounding beers during the whole thing. Is is that is that something that uh, you want to talk about at all? Well, I, 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 I don't. It's whatever to me. It's the, the vehicle would not have operated if both of us were mm-hmm. drunk. Period. It's very simple. Anybody who's ever had a DUI understands that. Uh, and besides that, uh, I, I think I had two beers that day mm-hmm. total. Okay. Uh, I don't know where he got that information. I don't know. Kind of like the relict comet or something. I don't. I don't. He must have. Hello, Justin. I think we lost Justin. Damn it! Oh, there you are. There he is. Oh, no, he's now back. he's back. We, we didn't okay. lose you. Good. Uh-huh. Okay, I don't know. but uh, all right. Well, um, I just wanted to clear that up because I don't know if if Bobo was speaking. On a... I, I I don't I don't know where Bobo got that okay. information. I, I love the guy. I don't have anything against him. Um, he he must have some inside track that the rest of us don't. He probably know gets his information from Robert Lindsay. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. It didn't go over so, well. So so you think that that Bobo just made an assumption, and he's not really real information that he got. It's just more of an assumption. That you were drinking? Uh, he's heard the story I have on tape, uh, him hearing the story. I, I, I don't, uh, the only time he heard it. Uh, I don't know where he got that information. I, I don't have anything bad or good to say about him or nothing. I mean, he's a great guy as far as I'm concerned. I don't know where he got a lot of the information that he was saying on that interview. I don't know. Uh, You'd have to ask him. I, I got a question for you. Um, Justin. You know, I, I was watching the interview and, uh, one particular thing that got to me was uh, in the beginning of the interview when you were uh, discussing how your day began and, you know, that you had some altercations. Actually, uh, I think you said that you had two different altercations. Um, and I found that interesting, uh, me personally, because, you know, it seemed to me that, uh, you know, you were having a pretty, you started having a bad day uh, when you were out there hunting. Uh, is that correct? Uh, I think I'm a pretty easy to get along with guy, low stress level. But 
when you get to dealing with these like PETA people, these like animal loving, like Prius driving types, <laughs> then, I don't know, yeah. maybe I could lose my patience. It's easy. Yeah. Uh, so, so, you know, there's just there's like this tourist boat, people like taking pictures and shit. They're, they said like we were casting in their way or something. I don't mm-hmm. know. It got weird. Yeah. Uh, it, it was a very long day. I mean, the day started at 2 o'clock in the morning on the drive up there, um, which is normal. That's completely normal. We always get up early and we even burn at both ends. But um, uh, yeah, I, 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 I guess I was having a high stress day, sure. Mm-hmm. And, and and the reason why I asked that question is because you know it just made me wonder you know I mean you know they, you know if, if you know were you upset you know if, if those things really upset you you know was your mind you know already your frame of mind was it said already that yeah you know I wanted to kill something now you know did that also well, propagate you bomb. to maybe want being irrational when you when you did supposedly that you shot those those Bigfoot was was that something part of that too. You know, that that could have absolutely played into that. Uh, The bottom line is I made a poor choice of decision. Um, First, uh, like, there was no question in my mind it was not a man in a suit. That's what it looked like. Mm -hmm. I knew that it was not. Uh, The first shot is what it is. The second shot, I absolutely regret. I mean, there was no, no need for that could have got on the big one's trail and found it. I mean, I could have called people in. I could have done a lot of things. Uh, that day was filled with bad decision making. Okay. There's, there's a qu- What color was the big one? I'm sorry, Michael. Go ahead. You said the big one? Yeah, yeah I mean, when, I, you, I, when you first came up on it, what color was it? Uh, I would call it a pale coyote. I mean, basically pretty close to white. Well, uh, why it's not the, really white, but it, it is the color of your average coyote. But why in the interview with Roe did you say that you saw something brown, but you knew it wasn't a deer or a bear? Uh, coyotes have a lot of brown in them. I mean, even the pale one does. I, I, well, I know, but I asked you what color it was, and you said it's, you know, pale or coyote colored. But yeah, when, it, it the is the color of an average coyote. I know, but when I'm trying... plenty of brown, has plenty of paleness, has plenty of white. What I'm trying to get is to the bottom, you know, to the to the facts, the story, Justin. And like I said, uh, you know, I'm I'll give you this, man. You you've got a lot of people to believe this this story, <laughs> but I think it's a story, and I think it's a story because in my mind, some of these facts don't add up. When you say that you saw something brown, and then you turn around, like, like another thing I was wondering about: did when you shot this thing, was you in the truck? Was you out on the road? I mean, where were you? 50, when you 50. How can it be 50 50? You're either in the truck or you're you anonymous. You can be halfway in the truck and you can be halfway outside of the truck. That would be 50 50. That would be one leg touching the ground. That would be one leg touching the truck. That would be one arm touching the uh, open door. I mean, the door is open. It's a very common thing for people to rest their gun on the truck. It's not illegal or nothing wrong with it. Oh, they let you I mean, go that road hunt out there in California? Yeah, what's wrong with road hunting? It's the most popular way California is hunt. Oh, I don't know. It's illegal in Maine, but, you know. It's probably... illegal to hunt from a road in Maine. Well, it's <laughs> illegal to hunt in a vehicle from, from yeah, you can't well, yeah, do you, you could drive around. You could see something. You could take a step out of the truck and fire. And would right. that be legal? Well, you might have to be off the road. It depends. You can't do it on an asphalt road. You might be able to do it on a dirt road. But I can tell you, you can't shoot out of a truck. And... You know, when I listened to the description that you gave to Roe, it sounded like you rolled the window down, you stuck the gun out, and then you said something about that you'd open the door, too. I was, I was just trying to figure out you know, why you would go to those extra steps. The whole thing happened in about a second and a half. We've been road hunting for quite some time. It's nothing new. If you, you drive any of the roads in California, you'll see 150 road hunters. And you'll see fishing game stop in every one of them, and it ain't, definitely ain't nothing wrong with it. I can guarantee you that. Now, the hunter that you're with, is he a guide of some sort? No. He's just, he's a, he's a hunter. Because some people told the story like, you know, you were being guided by that guy. Yeah, I don't know. People also said he was my spotter or something. (laughs) The guy was just so frozen by what he saw that he didn't, normally when we see something, we both get out and we are both shooting at the same thing at virtually the same time. Uh, backing each other up, whatever you want to call it. He wasn't my spotter. I'm not a sniper. But then kind of thing's 80 yards <laughs> well, no, away. I was just wondering if you were the head guy. So you you were like the most experienced hunter in the group there. Yeah, yeah. If I've shot 100 deer, he's shot 10. 
When you got your guide uh, license in Alaska, did they take make you take like a hunter's e ethnic course? You know, uh, ethics and uh, nothing stuff. about eth ethics. No, I had to take like a CPR thing. I had to take like a they call it like a six pack guide license or something. I had to take some class in Oregon or Washington. But no, as a guide, but as a guide, I remember. As a guy, don't you normally make a positive ID on a critter before you kill it? I mean, if you're taking somebody out there, you How don't know what. How positive can you be about something that you didn't know existed? Oh, not a man in a suit. Looks like a man in a suit. Okay, let's kill it. How positive can you be? Like you, you, yeah, you need to smell but, it. But but hold on, Justin. And nobody's I ever going to kill one of these things. Like, you, oh well, you, you have to make damn sure it's not somebody in a suit. Oh, okay, but you had a you, you had a sight, right? I had a scope. I, I, oh, I mean, a scope. I'm sorry. Scope. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, which, I mean, which, by the I mean, way, you can things like you can go from sixteen power, four actually, it's four to sixteen power. I think. Mm -hmm. you Weren't you worried it was a person a in a suit, Justin? Because I know a person that. that what, what's the guy's name? Oh, uh, Buckster. Buckster. I can never think of the guy's name. I'm a Buckster. Mal he was hunting, and he looked through his scope, and the bigfoot that he th saw, he thought was a man in a ghillie suit. He did not shoot it because he thought it was a man. I'm trying in my mind to figure out why you would put something down that would have any possibility of being a man in a suit. If you By don't your know own what logic, then you're, nobody's ever going to kill one if everybody's doing the uh, right what thing. What has that got to do with you shooting it? That has got nothing to do with you shooting it, whether somebody's ever going to kill one. Let's just forget about that. I'm just trying to figure out your mindset for killing an animal that you can't put a positive ID on. As a, as a guide, man, you're How a guide. How can you be? I did not. I, at the time that I pulled the trigger, I knew it was not a man in a suit. I knew it looked like a man in a suit. It's simple as that. I mean, it's not like. Well, then you. I knew it wasn't a man in a suit. But when I watched the Patterson Gimlin, that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like a man in a suit, but it's not. How would you, you know? Uh, you see, another thing is you. you uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but you also didn't know about Bigfoot <laughs> before you uh, shot. You know, I watched Harry and the Hendersons when I was. I, I don't know when I was young. So you oh, did have some out. inkling that it could be a Bigfoot. I mean, it wasn't totally um, alien to you. That was Bigfoot. perhaps 10 years prior or or whatever. I think that was the first, last, and only time I've heard just anybody for the record, say anything just, about it. And uh, just for... Uh, that's my opinion. I mean, I, I you definitely won't find me asking or looking at Bigfoot or anything like that on any forum or any... Uh, as far as I knew, I had never heard a serious conversation about it. Ever. Um, just out of uh, curiosity, I mean, I know the... Uh, how how old are you, Justin? Can you just let everybody know? Because I think a lot of people assume that you're like in your thirties or whatever that you've been. I'm twenty six. Okay. Oh, well, then, and yeah, then you were. Was... How old were you when you shot the Bigfoot, Justin? <laughs> I guess it'd be twenty four. Twenty four years old. That's uh... a. <laughs> yeah. Okay. To me, okay. when I was twenty four, uh, I was working at uh, a McDonald's. When I was twenty four, no. I was jacking off the porn every day. <laughs> and you know you're just a kid at that point alright I, I thought I was a kid until I was like 30 <laughs> but see that's you know you're thinking um, Paul Hosley you know Bam Bucks and One he's like you know I don't know how old he is but probably like well, that's, you bring up a good point Sean I mean you know uh, Justin you do look a little I don't want you to take it as an insult but I did think you were a little older than that I thought you were at least in your 30s but still, being a being a guide in Alaska, man, somebody somewhere's along the line. I mean, I have never run across a hunter that would shoot something that they couldn't ID. I mean, that's one of the things that you do. You ID what the hell you're going to shoot. And if you're guiding somebody, you're sure they're not going to go, well, gee, I don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure it's not a man in a suit. Go ahead, blast away. I mean, you need to know not only what species, but oftentimes whether it's a, a boar or a sow, bull, you know. I mean, to just, I don't know. Michael? To, well, 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 you were looking through the scope, so what details were you seeing? I mean, if you were looking through the scope, you were seeing more detail. You, you know, you were you were closer to it, you know, through the scope. So, what were you seeing? Just like the artist renderings looks. I mean, yeah, like I mean, the, you know, what was the facial expressions? What was it doing? You know, I mean, something because what you even stated that you felt, you know, you were threatened. So, I mean, if you were looking through the scope. Something from that the the expressions of the creature in his in his body language gave you that idea that you might have been threatened. Why did that happen? Why did you feel that way? That you know, uh, and a lot of times you know I've heard you talk about this in different uh, on the radio, but you know, I, you know, you really really didn't give details. I mean, you told me just now, oh, it's a picture, 
But I, you know, I want, you know, I want to see, you know, what was it doing? You know, you know, you were looking through the scope. You know, did it look like it was afraid of you? What, what was it doing? I mean, it was definitely closing the distance between me and it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, it walked approximately eight steps towards us. Uh, facial expressions. I, I, I don't know. I wasn't even really looking at the face. I was mm-hmm. looking at the kill zone. But you were looking at the kill zone. Uh, well, you guys yeah. are, are trying to trying to. It sounds like drill me for making a poor decision to shoot. And I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm saying, yes, it was an extremely poor decision to shoot something that you can't positively identify. Absolutely. End of story. Here, here. Like, it's so, pretty simple. Like, uh, well, it's just the start of the story, Justin, actually. It's not well, the end of it. Uh, well, I'm just saying. Like, you, you keep hammering that issue. I'm like, yeah, no fucking shit. It was a bad okay. decision. I said it well, well my, my question was to me, and I, I don't want you to think, Justin, that I'm that I'm trying to drill you because, I, and, and honestly, I, I, already, I even heard you say that you know what's our problem with me and Michael with you. Personally, I think you're, uh, you know, I, I'm, I don't really know you personally. You know, I, I, one time I think I sent you an uh, email a while back, you know, that I want to talk to you on a personal level about it. And you know, from what I heard from from Sean, you know, you, you're a nice guy, but you know, it, what what I wanted to see is, you know. Your frame of mind, it's not, not in personal, no personal attack, but it's more of the frame of mind because, you know, I, I, you know I've, I've watched you, man, and, and I, I believe you're having a difficult time with this. You know, I think that, per, you know, from what I've seen from you, uh, you know, on uh, the videos and that, that you're having a, 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 a difficult time dealing with the situation and what happened to you. And, you know, even me, myself, if I would have found myself in a situation like that, you know, seeing something strange or wh- whatever happened to you that day, if, if I was in your shoes, maybe, I don't know if I could put myself in there, but, you know, you know. Well, you know what is that mind? You know what is that mindset? You know, do you do you you know? I know you said, "Oh, I regret doing it," but has something changed in you now that you don't look at hunting the same way as you did before, or do you still feel that you're going to you're going to go hunting and you're still going to have that same frame of mind that you're going to shoot? You know, uh, you know whatever else is next that you're going to uh, meet out there, uh, you know, in the future. Uh, that's a loaded question. Um. The best I can tell you is, if I could take it back, I would to some degree. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's here nor there to me. Uh, mm-hmm. I believe that I'm going to show proof that either I can shoot a Sasquatch out of my ass or I'm telling the truth. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I fully believe that I'm going to show proof. Uh, I, I know things, obviously, that not everybody does. And uh, I believe that the truth is going to come forward. A lie detector test, that, that's easy. That's no big deal. That, that, that ain't nothing. Like, yeah, let's get it yeah. quick. Which we, we, I mean, ready, Ralph? Like, this I, is, could, this I, is could, no I know, deal. but I could care less about a lie detector test. I'd like to see the body. I'd like to know why you didn't follow the blood trail of the of the adult. And, yeah, that, we got to come. You know. We already had one in our hands. What was the point? Well, you, you had it in your hands, but you didn't get out of the woods with it. <laughs> right. And you didn't yeah, have it in your hands then. Because, because we hit it, because you can always come back to it. I've done that before with animals. Where you say, you know what, we can't take this out right now. We got to go. We got to get out of here. Yeah. <clears throat> Still there every fucking okay. time. It's always well, going to be there. Obviously, that's not true because you went back and it wasn't there. Exactly. You know, and animals will drag shit off. And I can tell you right now that I would think the majority, I, I know a lot of people have asked you this question, Justin, but the majority of people would have taken either the whole body or a substantial piece of that out with them. And even you right, that were prepared animals to pack- drag stuff off, but, but animals won't drag a skull or nothing. I mean, I've left many a pigs in a field and come back two months later waiting for the maggots and everything to eat everything like you were prepared for a skull from a pig or something like that. that? You, you were prepared to take an animal out. You told me you were. I mean, you guys went yeah, up in there. You well, knew how to do as you can be. I got a backpack and I got a knife. That's all we right. got. Right. You could have cut the head off that thing because stuck in your backpack. You had been out of there. Sure. Well, if, if Justin was an a inhumane person, I mean, he looked at it and he, it, it's like a child to him, right? I mean, would you cut off a child's neck? You know? Well, no, uh, but I also would shoot a child in the neck. I mean, he's already shot it, Sean. Oh, it was weird. <laughs> It was I, weird, I, though. Know, I know you're advocating for Justin here, but you've already <laughs> shot the spreader and blown the vertebrae I, I don't, look, in his neck no, and his dick. No. You uh, want to uh, catch uh, it, you got to shoot it. Uh, well, you want him to wrestle the, the thing down? 
You know, nobody's got to defend me. I'm I'm here to <laughs> answer and, whatever you're going to say. I'm not no, worried Justin, about it. No, I'm a big boy. We commend it's, we commend it's okay. you for Sean, it. Sean can be on no. your side, yeah. Justin. No man, I'll defend you. I don't I don't care. Actually, you know what? Let me pull over to, pull you over to the side, Justin, and just just whisper to you. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got to... Hey, hold, hold on, guys. Hold and, on, Justin, guys. and just so that you know, it isn't that I don't believe everything because, you know, a lot of people think that, you know, I, and I'm not trying to grill you either because, you know, to me, and this is... I'm not talking about nobody else on the team. To me, what I found very interesting was the part when you were talking about the, the, the baby Bigfoot, you know. I thought, I, I thought there was something interesting about that part, you know, to me that I saw within you. You know, that I, that I connected in a way with you what was going on, you know. Everybody else could tell you the difference, that's everybody else, but this is my opinion. You know, it, there was something compelling about it. I, I, I think, uh, you know, part of it when you started talking about, you know, what happened and how you held it. And, and, and it, it, to me, it was disturbing, though, the part that you threw it over, you know. And, and that's why I was asking that question from earlier, you know. You know, you, you, it, mean, it seemed to me like you were upset, you know, like you, the situation, not only with the, that you shot it, but something else was going into your mind that, you know, that you really didn't care. You know, if you did shoot this thing, you were like, okay, whatever, you know, yeah, I shot it, boom, and you threw it away, you know, basically. That's what it seemed to me. You threw it at your buddy, like throwing it away, you know, and I know you had, you guys kind of had a little bit of an argument supposedly there, um, but, you know, but, you know, and that's what I was trying to get to, you know, and I mean, you know, to me, it seems like, you know, you were really upset that day. And something happened to you, you know, that gave you, and, and, and this is my opinion, I think that you kind of took it out, out, out on those things. That's yeah, what I, right. I got from that, you know? What the, where did you get this from <laughs> <laughs> What thing? The, the, I'm There's just no saying, that this is, what I, this is what I saw, for me, my part at least. Uh, you know what? Um, hold on. Everyone's um, going to the dark. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Let him answer because Everyone, remember, I'm, I'm asking this to him. And every person over wait, wait. here, Justin. Everyone wait a second. Wait a second. Hold Go on. ahead, Sean. Hold on. Let me tell. Let me tell the listeners. Um, <laughs> okay. Ever since that video that Justin did with Ro, like, like, Ro, uh, uh, Justin's been secretly getting messages from Team Taser Bigfoot members. That they believe him. <laughs> I, need to, I, need to I know. I, I know that. I got to give you kudos, Justin, for, for for I tell you what, you did better than the Georgia boys did with with their deal with this story. <laughs> Much better. Yeah, I do, I do what I You're can. getting a lot more mileage out yeah, of this but than they are. You didn't answer my question. You didn't answer my question, Justin. What I just said to you. What's that? That I feel that you took it out on the, on, on those bigfoots. You were mad oh, that yeah, day, yeah, yeah. and okay. you took it out. Right, on no. them. I'm tracking. Um, I wasn't like pissed off about my life or nothing like that. It was a long, long, long day. Um, but I was doing something that I loved. I love being out in the woods. Uh, and in the end, uh, I feel like I made a bad decision. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I could have just blood trailed the big one and this whole thing would be over. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I think you'd still have some issues, even if you killed the big one, but probably less than having a baby. Well, it, we, 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 you, have to, you have to understand, we're looking in the same spot that the little ones are looking. When you accidentally shoot a sow, and then, you know, same, same story I told over again. I mean, the, the, the kids can smell it. They knew we were in the right spot, but they couldn't find it either. They kept coming back to the same spot where it all happened. I mean, it was I right there they close to us. They were the hillside chasing, chasing the adult. Yeah. Just didn't they both all three run over the hillside together and you know like a herd? Yeah. See, I don't understand. That's another thing I don't understand. How did how did the wounded adult outdistance the two juveniles that were apparently keeping up with it as it crested the hill? Well, they didn't all crest. I don't know. <laughs> They're looking for like some hole in the story that I I I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Well, I think uh, a lot of holes when in the story. They shot. <laughs> most of you got plug. I said I think there's a lot of holes in your story. You do a pretty good job of plugging most of them, but I think there's a lot of holes in in the story for me, anyways. Not not for the rest of Team Taser. Well, one thing I want to address first. One thing I want to address first is that I can tell. I get a lot. I've seen a lot of comments, and I and I've been asked this about the money involved with telling a story like this. Let me tell you people something. Nobody makes money in Bigfoot. I I know you like to think that this subject is important. <laughs> Oh, we're I rich. know you guys like. <laughs> we're, we're hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm I thought, Sean, we're, 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 we're shut the rich. fuck up. Wait, wait, wait. I'm podcasting. Yeah, my yacht. I know y'all. I know yeah. everyone out there. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> shut the fuck up. 
I, this is the penthouse that I'm that I'm talking from. You know, uh, to you guys. <laughs> No, but bro, people yeah, will yeah, yeah. talk stories for a lot of different reasons. I mean, Justin here seems like yeah, a nice enough guy. But, but yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna. No, no, go no I'm not saying you guys. Tell him, I'll tell him straight up. I think it's a story no, no, that's I, concocted, and I think it's got a lot of attention, a lot of publicity. I absolutely understand. I, I, I don't buy I it. I absolutely it, understand any of it. Where your position is, Michael, you've never been shy about your position on this. Um, no, <laughs> no, but <laughs> what I'm trying to. But I don't dislike no, no. Justin. I mean, I don't. Uh, care I, I don't know, Michael. Your your minions are distinct thing. I mean, just uh, distancing themselves. Oh, they're abandoned. They're going over onto the they're drinking yeah. the Justin Kool Aid. But nobody, yeah. nobody yeah. makes uh, money well, in uh, Bigfoot. You know what? I I would rather somebody dislike my story and say I don't believe you than have these coops <laughs> that just uh, they send me the message. I believe, brother. I believe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, like, I, I, like I get those messages. I get, and I, I appreciate the encouragement that I get now and then. I got to be careful about what I say, but I appreciate the encouragement. But a lot of times, like people be like, "Hey, I saw the interview. I just know you were telling the truth." High five, <laughs> brother! And I'm just like, uh, yeah. okay. if, if you believe a story that you wrote, read, or heard online, then I mean, I wouldn't believe me. Mm. Yeah. But, but there's, there's some no questions. Way. You want to? You got some questions to them? Yeah. Um, it, have you ever lived in Illinois? No, okay. absolutely not. They, they they don't even allow handguns there. Like okay. it's weird. They got like all kinds. For of some reason, want, there, but... people want to to do that. How is um how and how's your family dealing with this? Um, the majority of my family, it's never come yeah. up. <laughs> it's never. I how is my family? Oh, well, my wife. My wife didn't say nothing about it. She just like kind of nods her head now and then, and she'll ask a question on occasion. My daughter, hopefully, she'll never have to hear about this till there's some sort of proof out there or whatever. She's one and a half. But I ain't going to teach her about Bigfoot or get her a Bigfoot tattoo or nothing <laughs> like that. Um, oh, my uh, goodness. So my family, I don't, I don't know. I, I talked to my brother and my dad about it, and my mom asked me why her friend texted her and said, hey, you should search Justin's name. She, like, asked me like she was kind of like, what the fuck? And I just I was like, yeah, don't worry about that. And that's kind of the end of the conversation. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, um, dude, I you you know you're gonna get grilled every time you come on to some uh, any kind of show. So I totally appreciate you coming on and uh, sticking to your guns. Um, you're not you're not gonna win. Yeah, I appreciate you coming and, on too, Justin. Yeah, and answer, hey, Justin, like I said, man, nothing personal, fine, man. man. Uh, we, 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 I, I don't know you, and and I mean. And, from what I showed some of you, are a great guy, and I, I, those are just natural questions because to me this is just intriguing, just as yeah. anybody else. Oh, and, and it won't stop. It, it's not going to yeah. stop here, and I'm sure you know. It, 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 mm -hmm. There's this is going to go on for a little while, but um, you know, there. Like I said, th nobody makes money in Bigfoot. Yeah, Bobo and Moneymaker make money on a TV show, but that they make money on their personalities on, and it's reality TV. It's not Bigfoot. Um, there's a big difference. Um, you can't sell a Bigfoot story, but you can sell personalities. I am tired of getting uh, email. What actually one of my favorite emails that I am getting is people are asking me what movie are we doing this viral video campaign for. So apparently, <laughs> apparently Justin and I are actors, and I was like, "Wow, we're fucking, we're laugh, good man. fucking actors." So I thought, I thought, uh, <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Um, what? Okay, Michael, Michael. Now you had uh, you you've come at him with with a bunch of the hard questions, and he's his position is he agrees with you, but that was just his state of mind. He made a poor that's that's his argument to the to the bitter end. He's he made poor judgment decisions. Um, do you have any other follow ups? Like because now we can we can, we've gotten the we've gotten the actual incident out of the out of the way to some degree the best we can. We're gonna have to agree to disagree. You don't believe him. He's sticking to his story. You have some questions. <laughs> you had some questions about where we are now with the little piece of hide that he did recover. Was that you or Damien who had that had those questions? Oh, I don't. I think it might have been Damien, but I I don't. You know, I'd be curious to see what the results are from that piece of hide. But I would be shocked, utterly shocked, if it confirmed it was Bigfoot. Because, you know, I mean, we're to expect that an individual 
you know, a thousand years, no one's gotten their hands on one of these critters. And, I mean, we've got maybe the Patterson video. I mean, that's about it. And, and there's a lot of conjecture whether that's even real. I find it extremely difficult to believe that somebody driving in a pickup, which, you know, I mean, like you guys have vouched for Justin being a nice guy, but I don't think he's a very skilled hunter. <laughs> person that goes through shooting range once a year, you know, and I'm supposed to believe that this person didn't just kill but one, but two Sasquatches and then left them in the woods. I mean, that alone, if we don't even know Justin from... If you're going to talk about skill, I'm a four-time Boone and Crockett holder. I'm a mm -hmm. five-time Pope and Young holder. I know, but you tell me that I you only go to a uh, shooting range. Here. Justin, uh, this isn't like uh, Damien said. It's not anything personal, but when I asked you how frequently right, you go fact, target... Fact, how many people have killed 300 deer? I mean, if you really want to talk well, about it... I don't know if these are facts or not. You're just telling me this information. I mean, you're also telling me you well, shot you, two you Bigfoot. I don't believe that either. You could look on my Facebook and be like, what the fuck? That is quite a few deer. Wow. Huh. Like, if you were interested in that, I don't care to brag. I don't have that in me to sit there and try to impress somebody. I'm just saying. No, but, no, but Justin, how would you, like, see, I'm trying to determine where you came about this this hunting. I do, you know, uh, I'm not even talk about me. Most hunters that are skilled in the woods periodically sight their weapons in. They do a lot of target shooting. You know, they pride yeah, themselves on being accurate shots. I've been there, done that. No, I've been there, done that. It's, it's over. It's I find it up. difficult to believe you have a very high level of skill shooting if you're going to a shooting range once a year. Okay. Even your description of pulling the trigger, you know, when you said that you squeezed and squeezed and then jerked the trigger, that's exactly what you peaked. Oh, I people. jerk all the time. I always jerk. No, no question about that. Well, and you got to have peaked. 5% of the stuff that I do have on the Facebook, if, if, if you want to try to like argue a skill level, that's 5%. I mean, I could send you picture after picture, it would just bore us all to death. Right. I'm just basing it on what you tell me. The proof's in the freezer. That's the bottom line. I mean, Who's we, in the freezer? <laughs> the proof's in the freezer. The sturgeon, the steelhead, the salmon. I know another guy that said he had something in a freezer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm real familiar with another guy that had something in a freezer. All right. Well, imagine if that was only 5%, like those, all those stupid pictures I have on Facebook. Imagine all right, so let's just say, e even, even so, Justin, let's say that you're a highly skilled hunter. <laughs> I'll give you that. Let's oh. say you're a highly skilled hunter. To be driving in a truck for an elusive, evasive animal that's extremely secretive, that you know nobody's been able to get their hands on, and you managed to shoot two of them, that's pretty earth-shattering, and then you fail to bring any of the evidence out. I mean, there's a string of events here that don't add up to me. I mean, that's... You know what? You know what? I agree with you. Well, no, I would, I would think you probably outrageous. would. <laughs> yeah, no, that sounds outrageous. That's, all, that's just what I'm basing it on, Justin. I mean, I don't know you, so I can't make a determination. Like I said, you know, two guys here... Uh, 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 unless he did so take what, the baby so and he's not telling the truth. Michael, okay, so, so Michael, you're not my Justin? Yeah. What's that? Unless you did take the baby and you're not telling the truth. <laughs> Possibility, who knows? The baby, uh, the so baby's Michael, home. So you, you, you know, yeah, I guess that's. Uh, no, but I'm, I'm being serious it. about that, uh, Justin. Uh, Damien thinks possible. you got the baby. Um, I, yeah. I think you have the baby. I think you're not telling the whole. I think <laughs> from what I saw in the, the, baby in, in the video, you're you're not telling the whole truth. That's what I think yeah, about really possible. what happened that day. Uh, so, uh, Michael, like, do you got money, or are you poor, or are you you reckon like fifty thousand a year? Well, like, well, what's the deal there? Well, what is, what does that matter? What are you getting at? Well, if you got money, let's put something together. Like, I, I, I don't want to have to pay for your trip and, you know, like, sports your plane ticket or whatever and, you know, do gas money and whatnot. But, uh, you know, we, we, we can put together a little thing. We, we, we can all do a little big thing, you know, do a little filming, you know, go whatnot to go site, do a little thing right there. What are we doing? Target shooting, Bigfoot hunting, arm yeah, wrestling? Absolutely. <laughs> We're going to be bungee jumping. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, sometime, man, you and I will hang out. We'll go do something. I mean, like I yeah. said, I just, this, this story is just too far reaching for me to buy it. That's all. Hey, Absolutely. Justin, can we get, no can, question me, about that. I, I would like to go to the site. I would like to go to myself to see uh, you know, all that stuff, you know. J hey, Justin, you and I are yeah. going on August 10th. We're going, um, and I think Bart Curtino might be joining us and, and a couple of other people that we're not going to name. Do we know anybody that can fund fund uh, Michael's way out here? Get him to come with us? <laughs> Is anybody? No, I think that, that would be a no. <laughs> a big no. Can we can we get Wally to pay, pay a I can ticket? I can ask yeah. Melissa Harvey. Yeah. I could put you in a cannon and shoot you over to yeah. California if you like, Michael. 
Well, I got they got free health care the, there. The, the, like, you got free health care. You should have some extra money. I think. <laughs> and even right. the people at Starbucks are making like 13 bucks an hour. I don't fucking get that for the life of me. Hey, I heard but, the, ba- okay. the Batman Buckster is younger than you are, Michael. That's what I heard. The what? Really? I'm the, 50. The Bama Bama Buckster is younger than you. Bama Buckster? <laughs> you think that's funny, Damien? <laughs> wait, man. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna we gotta. Well, uh, Justin, I think you succeeded in convincing um, Michael. Michael, one hundred team. Yeah, uh, he, team believer. Taser Bigfoot is one hundred percent behind what you. The, what yeah. kind of Kool Aid? What, what is wrong with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Michael, you're gonna start losing minions if you don't believe him, man. You gotta buy your story, bro, because sure. your minions but, are very important. Okay, right well, now. yeah, start drinking the Kool Aid. <laughs> They, they can say whatever they want. Everybody's yeah. entitled to their own opinion. My opinion is that you're spinning a very colorful yarn. Is there any way we can get Wally to... Okay, okay. So, so, so let me ask you this. Why am I doing that? What's, like, you have to have figured out some sort of reason that I must be doing this. What are, what are my motives? Like, uh, Most of us do this for, for the attention. We're all attention whores. So, I, I, you know, I don't know what your reason is for it. <laughs> attention! People get attention. They like attention. They like being in the limelight. They like, you know, having all that buzz. Do you read I all your know. comments every time something goes on Sean's side, or do you skip those? Cause, you know. <laughs> oh, the hate mail? Oh, I read them all. Oh, wow. <laughs> See, I, I tried to, but one time I checked, and there was 220 comments or something. <laughs> it's tough, I was like, man. You I gotta can't go, like, go through this much. Like I, if I if I need to be abused, like you know, no, I'll just no, fuck that. Falls <laughs> <laughs> right off me. Water on. Well, somebody yeah. sending you an insult in the internet is not really an insult, you know, because some people have a lot of balls to send you something, and they're gonna. They, I mean, I have people say they're gonna kick my ass, but you know, I wonder if they're gonna really do that when they meet me, you know. So it's easy to say you're gonna kick somebody ass over the internet, you know. Mm-hmm. And Justin, just as you're figuring out for every hater, you'll have ten, twenty people that like yeah. you. The haters are, you know, they make the most yeah. noise. So, um, just curious. I don't hate you, Justin. I just yeah. don't believe you. Right. <laughs> yeah, and I think you're kind of a jackass because you like to make fun of everybody that doesn't <laughs> yeah. support your theories. I'm all about taking the crazies and saying, hey, this is fucking nonsense. I'm all about that. But you take everybody, oh, I like to tear people down. I say a joke. I call it humor, so it's okay. Hey, you're a fucking faggot. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't get that shit. No, I don't. <laughs> I figure that you can take and have your videos without burning somebody every single time you do it. That's my opinion, but no. I think you're, you think, I think, Justin, I think you're a little confused. That's not my videos at all. I address people that are putting BS out there. I, you know, to tell you the truth, I only watch like half of your videos. So usually about halfway yeah. through. So, There's like 500 um, of them. Yeah, but, but, but Justin, 500? I mean, can I, can, I, can I ask you another question, Justin? I mean... Yeah. Oh, well, but I, Justin only to... sees the one that I put up. He only sees yeah, the one that I put yeah. up. He doesn't. I mean, see. aren't you aren't you trying to get the truth out of this to yourself? I mean, you shot something, right? You say you shot something, so you know, aren't you trying to confirm the truth about this? You know, I, you know, I mean, I'm not saying that you that, that you, you you know you're saying bullshit about everything. I mean, I believe that you're you're hiding stuff. That's what I believe. You know, I, I you know I I, I, okay. I, I I'm hiding all kinds of stuff. I think, I I think you're hiding yeah. stuff from the truth. You're not. Hiding, you're not telling the truth. I think you're t- say, saying half the truth. But okay. Damien, you Fine. think he actually shot Bigfoot? You do think he shot one? Well, I'm not saying that he shot Bigfoot. I'm. You think I, he said it? Damien, just just say it, bro. I said it. No, Damien, I, I said it. Damien. No, no. I'm not saying that's, he shot that's nothing it, wrong. That's not wrong with that, Dan. You just say that because I wasn't there. What I'm trying to say is that I think that something happened. You say you that think something he's happened to him, and what he happened? has something, and he's not telling the whole truth. That's what, what I think. What does he have? He, you, he, he might he have some kind of animal. I don't know if it's a Bigfoot. Big hey, we, we haven't even proven that Bigfoot is real yet. Say it. Say it. Say it. We haven't even proven that Bigfoot is real yet. That's what you're talking about. It could be something. He has something. It He's could be. It, it could be. It could be Victor, Maybe. <laughs> I don't think it's okay. Victor. Maybe. I don't think it's got anything. I, I think him and I don't so, know. I just talk to a friend. So let me ask you, Michael. Then, so what's your theory behind like this this whole DNA study thing? So obviously, if I'm full of it, then there's other people that are just nonsense. Uh, I don't know. I mean, if DNA at a certain point, it's going to have to catch up with me really soon. Well, I, I can tell. I can tell well, you. you think. I mean, if you've got a valid scientist looking at your DNA and not a cat that with an F rating from Texas BB 
better business bureau. You know, yeah. I can, I'd be one very thing I can tell you. They find out. And if they find out, if that substantiates your story, I'll retract what I said. I, here's what I can tell you, Justin, that everybody here, have, we all have different opinions on your story. Michael 100% doesn't believe you. Sean believes you. I told you myself that I believe a lot of what you're saying, but I just can't get behind the fact that you shut the Bigfoot. And you seem to be okay with that, that you don't expect everybody to believe everything Tell you and, what, let, let me rephrase it to uh, make it more uh, so I but, can but wait um, a second, Sean. protect wait. myself. <laughs> let me protect myself. I believe <laughs> that he that he believes he's telling yeah, the and, truth. Absolutely. See, that's exactly what it is. And 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 I believe I. If if I'm telling a lie, then I will right. land on the chip. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. None of us here are going to believe anything that comes out of the Ketchum camp. I think she's yep. too. <laughs> that is, that is too. I mean, buddy. DNA. Wow. I don't think Guaranteed. anybody here believes wow. that Melba Ketchum is going to give us something credible. We there's just no credibility with her. She's a fucking baddie, wow. baddie. If you tell me that you and we've talked about, and we you and I have talked about this that you know there's another another we talked about it in the video. So I'm not I'm not spilling the beans on anything. There is another independent lab that is pursuing study. I am curious to see what they come up with. But I can tell you that Good nobody much. here, after the horse braiding, hair braiding, and stick figure, and I've been frolicking with five Sasquatches uh, comments, nobody here is going to believe that she knows what she's doing. Um, so so you, that one, that I can say pretty much. <laughs> we agree. We agree. I say know, I. pretty much across the board. But I am very. I do know that there's not. She's not the only one in 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 the game. And I've told these guys. That I think that there's something to it, so you know that's that's I think I think that's you know where everybody is. Well, bro, it's hard to argue with that yeah. logic. That's the best yeah. I can tell you. And, and I'll tell you what, uh, it's hard mm -hmm, to argue mm -hmm. with that. But, mm -hmm. You know that makes yeah. sense when you say yeah. that. Yeah. And, and, and even Michael said, and just like I said, if, if when the results come out, if, if there's any truth to what's going on. You know, we will definitely apologize to you, Justin. I oh, will you be don't need to, yeah, 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 you can hurt my feelings. I'm not going to cry yeah. about it. No, no, no. But it's not even about that. It's because, you know, we, 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 because we don't want people to think that we're just like, oh, oh, you know, this is the way it is. You know, we, we, we're not like that. You know, but we, yeah, yeah we, we want the truth and we want to, the, you know, the, the, you know, physical, which is the body information from a reliable source. Reliable. Well, here's what here's what I can you know. tell you. The, uh, I don't want to use that word soon because that word soon <laughs> is all fucked up. <laughs> we love uh, that word. We love uh, it. No, it's they, they ruined it. They ruined, like I can't even say it to my wife. Like, about anything. Soon. like I'll be the best <laughs> soon. That's just a lie. Uh, in, at some point in time, that's not far away. Then every other uh, lab will be made transparent. Every okay. email, every test, we're not going to hide nothing. Oh no, I'm, I'm excited, excited man! When There's I saw extremely what extremely credible yeah. people involved, yeah, I'm excited. When I saw the scientists involved, to stand and... up and say, "No, there's all these people that are afraid to stand up and say, oh, yeah, actually, I've been here from the yeah. get go.'" Yeah. I mean, I think that's kind of a vagina stance, but whatever. If you want to be quiet for now and work with me every single I day. Do and sit there and talk to me and email with me, but ask that I don't use your name out loud somewhere else. Hey, that's yeah. whatever. Yeah, I'll that's... forget that. That's fine. But it was what I am saying, beside the point, everything will be made I'm excited about that. If I'm lying, it's going to get real, real, real difficult for yeah. me to hide that very soon. So this is or, another uh, lab, in the near Jason? Future. Is this another lab, a credible lab, that's looking at other than the Ketchum Project? I can tell you... Your I can stuff? tell you, Michael, that it's a very I mean, credible lab. Yeah. It's a very credible lab. I can t I can back that up. Yeah, I'd be very and I'm very excited about that. This lab is, is above reproach. And I can tell you, Justin, that I'm very excited oh, yeah, about I'm, that. I'm, I'm excited. Very, yeah. I, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm waiting myself when this comes out. I mean, I don't care about catching that yeah. whatever. <laughs> but they can come yeah. out whatever they want. I, I want to see what this new uh, lab what, Justin, Justin, if your story is true, it's the most amazing Bigfoot story ever. ever. Exactly. And I'm glad I had I glad I had the opportunity to be the first one to document it on film. Yeah, yeah man, you get the scoop. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and not only you that, awesome. you know, it, you know, it, it, you know, imagine the, the implications of uh, of you know your story, and if this is proven real, man, you know, you you got something 
um, you know, for the scientific record, yeah. you know, this is scientific history, you know, and, you know, and, and at the end, you know, you know, we, we, you know, some of us might not believe everything Justin say, some of us might not, some of us believe others, you know, half and half, but if it is proven real, you know, then we got, yeah. you know, somebody with an amazing story that will right. be part of, well, here's what I can, history. here's what I can, and two dead bodies in the yeah. woods. Somewhere. Here's uh, here's yeah. what I can say is, you know, I, I think just, so let me, okay, so this brings up something, so Michael, do you think that I'm 100% making up the things about the authorities getting involved? Or do you think, like, yeah, the story started going, Justin just started making up shit, pulling it out of his asshole, thinking, oh, this would be interesting, let me add that in there. Is that how far you think this has gone or no? I have no idea. I think, uh, I do think it's a story. I don't know how it got concocted, but, uh, yeah, I don't think you shot two Sasquatches. Okay, okay. I mean, me. And what I can tell you, Justin, uh, from... but I don't. No, I, 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 I'm all about the truth. I'm all about looking somebody in the eye and telling them what yeah. I think. Yeah. I'm not going to hide what I say. I told you what I thought of you. And, uh, you know, it, the negativity gets old. That's the best way I can sum it up. Uh, but, you know what? Yeah. Life goes on. Well, Justin, I think you're, you're a pretty uh, cool dude. We, we spent, uh, we've been talking on the phone and having beers. And I can tell you this for certain. You know, I believe that you're telling me the truth the best you can. I think if I told you I believe everything, you'd think I was a fucking full of shit. The one thing I, the one thing I just have to honestly say is I'm fucking really bummed that Melba Ketchum got involved, but I'm, I'm very excited, very, very excited about the, the new results. And I cannot wait. I mean, and I'm, I'm really excited about heading up to Gold Lake with you and and having some fun. I think we're going to, we're going to make another really, compelling video case for everyone to, to watch when we're done with that. <laughs> what did you think of the final edit, Justin? I know it was a little sensational with the I killed Bigfoot, but I wanted to get, I wanted to get everybody's attention with it. What did you think of the final edit? Uh, uh, I, have, I, I oh, okay. haven't seen it. Well, <laughs> uh, okay. Like I, I don't, it's awesome, like, man. It's you don't know what you're I, missing. It's not that I don't think what you did was yeah. important. It's that I was gone for seven days yeah. in the woods. I came back, and then I've been trying to work, and then, mm-hmm. like, I, I haven't yeah. slept eight hours since I don't well, remember cool. when. Uh, it, it's very close to my priority <laughs> list. Well, me and Sean stayed up to, like, well, whatever. Yeah, we, uh, we uh, turned uh, it on, but we, I, we, we I, just I, talked. Yeah. I we just talked about a bit, but I was yeah. literally yeah. falling asleep yeah. while Sean was here. I heard well, it's yeah. epic. Justin, it, it's playing in the background as I was sitting here and falling asleep. Whether it's a hundred, <laughs> <laughs> whether it's a hundred percent true, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure yeah. it's awesome. I, I, I'm sure it gets a big thumbs cool. up and a poke and, and a <laughs> like and all that stuff. Well, here's what I can say: whether it's a hundred percent fake or it's a hundred percent true, people, you will watch it, and it's a great story. That is that is a fact. It's a great story, whether you believe it or not. Yes. Get out there, give it the big thumbs up, uh, and let's let's get this story told more and and see what else you know. Because there might be some other people somewhere in the country with a similar story who might be afraid to come forward. I want to talk to you too. Michael wants to talk to you too. He'll be frank and mean, and I will encourage you to tell a story, and uh, and and we'll make some more great videos. But Justin, you've been on. I don't know if you can believe I, it. Always time always flies. We've been on, you've been on for an hour. The show's been running for an hour and a half. Thank you so much, and being, uh, you know, being brutally honest. Um, well, I guess that's a matter of opinion. Thank if you, you who, yeah, who, no, who you, you ask, and, and, and uh, it was great to see you and Michael just hammer it out. Um, I was really looking forward to talking to you, Justin. You didn't let me down. So, yeah, no, let, let, let's do this again, and then let's just fuck each other. <laughs> you know yeah. And let's see. You know, like no, I, I'm all down. I'm all down with hearing the truth. And, and let's see if truth. we can. I, I, yeah. I, the worst thing I think is a two-faced yeah. person. Well, so you, you tell me what you think. That's I'll tell awesome. You what I think. Yeah, I'm hey, good with that. I, I got one. I'm I got one question be, uh, short, before I forget this because I, I was thinking about it. I mean, now that you're that that this happened to you, you know, and you've been tangling with the, uh, you know, the some of the old guard of Bigfoot, as I call as we call them, you know, I mean. You know, I, maybe you can't really talk about them that much. So I don't know what deal you got with them. But, you know, you know, do you think that, you know, I, so, sometimes I feel that they, they you know, they, they, they're they not being honest about everything that happens in the Bigfoot world, in the Bigfoot community with us. I mean, do you feel that that's the same way? You know, do you think that, you know, there's more stuff out there that we should know than, you know, that they're just keeping it to themselves? 
Well, I let me answer it this way. So I've seen some pictures and seen some video that maybe only 10 or 20 or 40 people have seen. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know the exact number. And they always said, if I show this, they'll call me a hoax, they'll call me a liar, and they okay. don't want to show this. What do you think of this? And they would they would show it to me. And, they, and I, I've seen perhaps 10 or 12 or 20 of those where somebody said, hey, I, I don't want to be called a liar. I don't want my name associated with this. What do you think of that? Mm-hmm. And I've looked at them and I said whatever I said, whether it was that's very compelling or that looks retarded. I have said that once <laughs> or twice. But um, I, I think there's a lot of stuff out there. And uh, I don't know if there's 20 of them or 20,000 of them. I don't have any freaking clue. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm thankful that I got in touch with somebody that believed me. That okay. like the story, story could have got gone, you know, just shoved under the pillow right away. Derek Randall said, "Hey, I believe you. I want to go with this." And to me, I'm thankful for his friendship. I mean, he he believed me. He ran with it, and he he made it what it is today. And so, to me, there's people in my life like Derek Randall's where I look at it and I say, hey, thank you for believing me. And people yeah. like Bart Catino, he's just looking at the evidence. Yeah. And then at the end I would say, hey, thank you for taking this journey Excellent. with me.